morning. They may be home. They may be in a hospital bed. They may be in another state. In another country. But you know that they are in need of a miracle this morning. Only God can do it. By the blood of Jesus Christ. By the blood of Jesus Christ. By whose stripes we were healed. Lift your hands together with me. By faith we join together. Believe it. And if it's you, let's lift your hands. Father, I thank you, Lord. I thank you for the ability, Lord, to be able to come into your presence, Father. Through what Jesus Christ did on Calvary's cross, Lord. I thank you for the blood that was shed. I thank you for the blood that was shed for my sins, first and foremost. Lord, and for the healing, Lord, that we received through Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. God is 
good. Amen. Amen. Welcome to Crossway Assembly this morning. Bienvenido a Crossway Assembly. Where the Spirit of God is here. Amen. Amen. How many know that God's presence is here with us? Amen. Amen. How many know that we are the temple of the Holy Spirit? Amen. How many know that we're the church? We're the church. We're not defined by mortar and, and bricks and, and cement. We're defined by Jesus Christ, who we are. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I want to welcome you once again on this beautiful summer morning in June. How many thank God that He allowed summer to arrive finally? Amen. God is good. I want to welcome and recognize some of our special guests with us this morning. I'm going to ask you guys if there's a space of a seat in between you that we can move over to make room for some of our other guests that are coming in. Right? Let the commercial set get a little closer with that, that commercial. Right? Don't be shy, right? Don't be shy. Squeeze in a little bit. But I'd like to recognize this morning we have Hazil Aguero with us this morning. Hazil. Welcome to the house of the Lord. Veronica and Jeffrey Diaz is with us this morning. Veronica and Jeffrey, please stand up. Amen. Welcome. It's a pleasure to have you with us today. Amen. Giovanni is here with us. Giovanni. And we also have Annalise, right? John and Annalise, family, family, family. Amen. Welcome. Amen. We pray that you have a blessed time in the Lord with us today. Amen. We like to celebrate and worship Jesus in the house. Amen. Amen. Thank God for the Amen, amen, amen. Just a reminder, this week is uh, July 4th on Thursday, amen? Amen, so how many are celebrating our Independence Day? The nation of America, United States of America. Estados Unidos. <laughs> hey man, this Friday, so we will not be uh, meeting for Bible study on Thursday night. No tendremos estudio bíblico el jueves. Hey man, we're gonna have that time to meet with your family and your friends. Vamos a tener tiempo para estar con tu familia y tu amistad. I know there are many people who will be leaving this weekend away on vacations. Tenemos varias personas que van a salir de vacaciones. And uh, they're leaving when it's getting warm. I don't get it. <laughs> Right, you stay in Rochester when it's warm and you leave when it's cold. Amen. But praise the Lord, we're going to keep them in prayer as well as they head out in the next couple of weeks. Amen. Just a reminder that on the first Saturday, August 3rd, we are going to be going to Erie PA with our young people. Amen. Where we'll be uh, having a youth uh, service. From all the different churches of our section, about 20 churches. And uh, I have the pleasure and the honor to see our young people leading worship in that service. Amen. And Doug and a few other young people from some of the other churches are going to be gathering. So God is doing tremendous and wonderful things. How many are praying for Crossway Assembly? How many are praying for the place that He has for us? How many know that He already has it? Amen. Amen. I believe it. You believe it. I believe it. Amen. Amen. You believe it, Sister Lucy. I believe it. Amen. That's what I'm talking about. 
We are asking you to continue to pray. Be faithful to God in your prayer. Amen. Queremos pedirle que sean fieles en sus oraciones. To continue praying that God lead us and direct us to where He needs us to be. Para que Dios nos guíe, nos dirija a donde tenemos que estar. If you can stand to your feet with us today. Si puedes estar de pie en este momento. We're going to pray. We're going to collect the tithe and the offering this morning. Vamos a orar para colectar las ofrendas y los diezmos. If you need an envelope, the ushers can grab an envelope and give that to you. Si necesitan un sobre, los sugieren que pueden suplir un sobre. You can go to uh, www. Crossrayassembly.org in my mind. Pueden ir a la red a través de www.crossway.org. Crossrayassembly.org. Crossrayassembly.org. Amen. And you can give my line as well. Y pueden dar por la red. The Lord, the Bible says that He loves a cheerful giver. La Biblia dice que él ama al dador alegre. So when you give this morning, give with joy and gladness. Cuando tú des esta mañana, da con gozo y alegría. With a smile on your face. Con una sonrisa. The Bible teaches us to not, not to give grudgingly. La Biblia dice que no demos eh, así como enojado. You know, like, oh, I have to give this to the Lord. Como si estás obligado a dar. Like when you have to share that last piece of cake that you wanted so bad. Cuando tú quieres compartir como ese pedacito de bizcocho que tú quieres tanto. Or that nice couple of sips of iced tea that you have. Your, oh, wife, your wife has to take it from you. Si quieres tomar un poquito de el refresco de su esposa, esposa. You give it like, oh, here we go, I love you, baby. Don't give them to the Lord like that. <laughs> Say, Lord, this is yours anyway, man. This is yours, and I'm going to give it to you because I love you. Let's pray. Father, I thank you this morning, Lord, for all that you've done already. And what you continue to do in our midst with our friends and our family and our guests today, Lord. I pray, Father, you continue to bless those who give cheerfully unto you, Lord. Father, meet every need in the house, Lord, every family, Lord. You know their situation, the what they're dealing with, Lord, financially, and their health, Lord, and then whatever every other area they may have. Father, I ask you this morning, Lord, that you open doors and make a way when there is no way for those who cannot bless you financially, Lord. Father, you give them the opportunity to find work, Lord God, or a way to, to bring something unto you as an offering as the Word of God teaches us to do, Lord. Bless those who give out of sacrifice this morning, Lord. Father, meet their needs and bless them always. Father, we thank you for what you're doing. And we know that you are a great God and you will never leave us nor forsake us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.